Good morning, friends and fellow traders. It's Friday, and this is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, coming to you with your morning market preparation video for December 15th, 2017. So yesterday we saw some bears uh, wake up here a little bit and come into the market. A little bit of selling going on, not a huge surprise, um, we needed a little rest, a little pullback. I kind of was suggesting that yesterday, that that could occur. And it was really based on fears. Uh, you know, there were some jitters that the um, tax reform bill would not uh, be moving forward, I guess. Uh, at least that's the excuse they used. And um, this morning, we seem to be getting a bit of a reversal of that sentiment. Um Right now, Dow futures are up 80 points, and we're going to um, kind of move this needle back higher today, um, pushing those futures uh, back up. And likely, maybe we might even, those folks who got a little short here, who picked up some short anticipating the market sell off, um, could actually feel the pressure of a short squeeze this morning. Um, they will definitely feel a little bit of pain if they got um, too short um, the market here on on this uh, bullish bullish look that's going on. The market seems to be pretty darn happy. It's interesting that I'm not seeing the Dow itself gapping up that much. Um, the YM is pushing the market hard, but we're not seeing it at least right now in the pricing, and it could be just a software problem here with TC2000 not, not displaying that correct price. But I would expect we're going to see that market moving up at least a little bit this morning. So kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Really put in a ugly follow-through candle. A little shooting star, a couple little... Uh, small doji type shooting star patterns um, and a bearish engulfing candle yesterday. Really an ugly pattern that r certainly suggests more follow through to the downside. And what's interesting is that we're showing some follow through here on the chart this morning, but the futures are positive. So it'll be interesting to see how that actually works out um, this morning. Um, if we look forward uh, to the cues, the cues, um, just kind of running into this price resistance up here. You know, if we if we take a look at the overall price resistance in the chart, we've got it right here, and we've been banging against that wall up there, trying to break through, and as of now, haven't been able to do that. And now I see that the Nasdaq is actually showing a response higher this morning, which is interesting that it's not showing up in the um, in the. I, I, I'm guessing this has to be a TC2000 problem. Um, the software problem this morning and not showing up um, in the chart, but showing up in the future. So we'll, we'll see what's going on as, as the morning progresses here. Not too worried about um, things overall here, but uh, do want to be um, very cautious as we move forward. I kind of suspect that we're going to see a bit more volatility. We've had a really nice little, um, you know, during this rally, really low volatility in the market. And I suspect this little price action up here could shake us up just a little bit. Um, let's keep in mind that 25,000 is just directly above. We only got about 350 points that we have to go to reach 25,000. I really suspect the bulls are not going to give up easily. I think they want that print. Um, it's just one of those great big round numbers that I think they want to try and achieve. And so we'll see what happens here, but I kind of suspect they're going to push really hard to try and um, make that happen maybe before the end of the year. So we'll keep an eye on that and watch it as this uh, little Santa Claus rally continues to push on, or shall we say tax reform rally continues to push on. If we take a look at IWM, IWM really kind of made an ugly pattern here, <laughs> but we're still holding this price support of this big 
um, consolidation area. But certainly a bearish pattern. And this morning, it's showing an improvement as well, uh, wanting to move higher. So pretty interesting how the market could be setting up today. Um, I recommend just a little bit of caution here. Um, I wouldn't be chasing this around uh, for sure. If we take a look at the VIX, it was interesting that the VIX had barely moved yesterday at all until the last part of the day, and we kind of saw the VIX creeping up just a little tiny bit. But I got to tell you, um, you know, a 10.5 print here, um, in the VIX is not exactly showing fear. This is complacency, um, uh, really to an extreme uh, level. But that's okay. You know, the market doesn't want to sell off. And it's showing that here that there's no fear, at least right now, in the market. So kind of, we want to keep an eye on this because that could quickly change. And you can see how fast we can get these fear spikes when we're down at these low levels. So kind of keep that in mind as you go forward. If we look at T2122, T2122 is really showing us here that we have moved down toward the bullish reversal side. Isn't that interesting? Move down toward that bullish reversal side and any kind of a, a really good push could send us higher. So watch that closely. Um, interesting how that the market is setting up here. Um, I really do think we're going to see a little bit more volatility. And so I would suggest being just a little bit careful as we head into the weekend. Now for me, I tend to be more of a profit taker um, ahead of a weekend rather than a new risk taker. So I don't expect that to change much today, but you never want to say never. Um, there is a chance, you know, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to follow price action and price action is going to lead the way for me. And if I see great signals and a great opportunity to profit, I will be looking for that. But in all likelihood, um, I will be thinking more about, uh, profits and protection of capital heading into the weekend. So that's where I am. Um, on the earnings calendar today, we have, or excuse me, economic calendar today, we have Empire State Manufacturing here at 8.30 this morning. That's been running extremely hot. I mean, to, to the point that they're, they say it's unsustainable. And consensus today is that we'll see a little tiny decline, and I think that will relieve some of that pressure. Industrial production, um, industrial production is looking to edge up today just a little bit. Then we've got, you know, some really non-important reports and the treasury budget here at the close um, or the treasury capital here at the close and that is not forecast forward so um, not sure where that will come in but obviously probably won't affect the market because it is right at the market close for the weekend so with that on the earnings calendar we had oh 12 13 companies reporting today i didn't see anything that would be you know particularly market moving um so you you'll want to pay attention to that um however last night adobe was it adobe no, it wasn't Adobe. Can't remember the ticker. Now all of a sudden reported well, and then Oracle reported poorly and got thumped. So, um, you know, lots of back and forth. You want to make sure you're paying attention to those earnings reports and that you've got a plan um, to deal with those. So keep in mind, um, as we move forward, you know, these earnings reports are going to continue to straggle in as we move toward the first of the year. You want to keep checking those reports, making sure if you're holding something in your account, that's going to report that you have a plan on how you're going to deal with that. Okay. Let's take, um, a last look here. See if that diamonds has corrected itself here in the chart and it has it. It's weird. But it's still showing, um, right down here at the low while the futures are driving higher. So 
Interesting. Everyone have a great day. Have a great weekend. I hope everyone has a very relaxing weekend and safe and as we head into the holiday season here. Take care, and I will be talking to all of you very, very soon. And if this is the first time you've ever seen this information, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs ups. I really do appreciate that. And please feel free to share this video with any of your friends and family that you feel might uh, find it useful. Everyone take care. Talk to you all very, very soon. First thing Monday morning.